In this video, we're going to take a first look at the pivot table functionality within Google Data Studio. All and more coming up. Hey there, and welcome back to another video of Measure School teaching you the tech tools and tactics of today's digital marketing world. My name is Julian, and we are live right now to take a first look at the pivot table functionality within Google Data Studio. Now, this was just recently announced, uh, really just yesterday, and I had little time to play around with it. Nonetheless, we want to take a quick look at what we can do within Google Data Studio. Now, if you're not familiar with pivot tables, they are basically another way to um, look and slice and dice your data within normally a spreadsheet tool. So if you are working with Google Sheets or Excel, you might be familiar with pivot tables. They are very powerful when it comes to really quickly exploring your data because you can input multiple dimensions and multiple columns really and slice and dice the data within one table. Now, within Google Data Studio, we didn't have this functionality beforehand. We actually had to make use of um, the tables within uh, Google Data Studio. And if you wanted to slice and dice the data a bit further, then we would need to do this in a spreadsheet tool like Google um, Sheets. And so today we have that functionality built into Data Studio. How cool. So let's take a look at this new functionality and uh, jump over here to our demo. So I have a little Data Studio um, sheet that I've prepared here. And this is connected just to the demo data that we have available um, from Google Analytics. And we obviously have a new um, data field or new visualization field, which is the pivot table. We'll take a look at this in a second. Now, the first thing that I wanna do is actually draw a table here. And this table is actually what it says. It's a table, so you have on the um, one hand your dimension here, and you have your metrics inside of this table with your sessions. Now you could put in multiple di um, multiple metrics, so we could put in whatever um, users, for example, and expand this. But what if I wanted to actually um, dig deeper into these dimensions. What if I wanted to see which countries these people are actually from? And this is not easily done with a table here because we um, would need to filter the data or have multiple tables in order to find out who is actually here from the USA, who is um, from the UK, for example. And therefore, um, a pivot table would be something that I would use within Google um, sheets. And now we have that capability within the interface. So if we draw this here, I'm just going to make this smaller. Um, it will pull in the data. It takes a while, I noticed. So now we have this data available as well. Now um, we obviously would need to choose our dimensions first. So if we would compare this to the medium here, let's say uh, we don't want the source up here. We want to uh, additionally actually have our country. We would type this in as well. Now this would hopefully be pulled correctly. And then we have that data available here, spliced by country as well as by the medium. So. Um, if you go to the view here, it actually makes more sense and you can see it better. So here we have our new table. And uh, once we scroll around, we can actually see that we have this nice visualization, which is not possible um, here in the normal table. And we can find really quickly which source or which medium uh, in this uh, regard um, brings traffic. So for example, we have a lot of traffic from uh, CPM, um, cost per mill, whatever that means in this demo report. Um, but there is no um, traffic from India, for example, or we have here Chinese traffic. Um, okay, well, anyways, um, what you can do, and this is a bit tricky, I guess, because you can't really see the, uh, the, the scroll table here, but you can go um, 
left and right and also up and down because this table is actually pretty big and then spot trends so for example we have organic traffic um, from different countries but for example here we can find an outlier from Ethiopia we don't have any organic traffic and this is really cool because we can now also explore our data a bit more in depth with these different dimensions without building too many tables because going into a new dashboard experience within Google Data Studio you oftentimes need to already know your data very well so it hasn't traditionally been a good tool for data exploration but I can see a pivot table being something really cool to use for data exploration outside of something like Google Analytics for example because I can now pull the data in dynamically through uh, the data sources. I wouldn't have to use the spreadsheet software anymore if I'm very familiar with uh, what data is actually going in. So I don't have to clean it in that sense. And then we have that available in this report as well. And we can actually pivot um, different dimensions here, but only two. So we can choose different um, rows and columns. We can actually add a dimension to this row column, for example, as well. So let's say um, we would also like to have the uh, source, not only the medium. So here we go. And that will then be pulled in. Now this always takes a while. And yeah, now we have the medium and the source and all the countries. And we could obviously also put in a column um, dimension as well so let's say we would actually like to know this by city now it gets really complicated <laughs> or the, the table gets really big but then we would be able to see who comes from uh, the United States and which city so we can dig deeper into the data and this is uh, really um, the case when you want to okay there is a um, there's an error here, we need to have a smaller data set. Now, how could we make this a bit smaller? Country, city, let's say, is there something like states that we could choose? Um, no. Hmm, hmm, uh, continent. What is there like, yeah, continent. That should be good. Let's see if that works. Okay, and um, yeah, and then you can look into the data. So for example, here we can see our continent. Let's actually drag this up. Yeah, drag this up. Okay. Now this is all uh, calculated in the cloud. So yeah, so here we have the Americas. So let's view this data again. Um, we have the Americas and then we have all the different countries and then we should get to Europe at some point. Yep, here is Europe now. And most of the people uh, coming from Germany to this, um, this data account that um, we have in here. Now the other thing, this behaves like a table uh, normally. Uh, you can up here choose the um, the control filters that you might have implemented. So if you only wanted to look at organic uh, medium, you could do this as well. And then it will all be filtered um, accordingly. Now again, this is pulling in a lot of data and correlating a lot of data. So it might take a while to actually put in, but now we are only looking at the organic source, as we can see here, and the different um, um, search engines in this case, um, pivoted by the continent and also the country. So I hope this gives you a few ideas on how you could be using this in a sense of um, um, taking your data, putting it together. It just gives you a little bit more control and a little bit more creativity maybe once you are looking at this data. Now, not a lot of people like um, to have actual tables on their um, dashboard, which I can understand. But if there are specific questions that you want to answer via a table and you can't do it with a normal table, then um, look into pivot tables. And 
what they exactly uh, can do for you. I think it's a very powerful feature that has been now added to Data Studio. Now let's take a quick look at the other, now we get a system error. This happens, okay, unable to, <laughs> Uh, this is a cloud software in the end, so we see that we have errors still happening. This is still in beta, so I guess um, we are facing some stability issues still. And I hope we can get this resolved in the few coming months. I know that there are frequent updates and I know that Google is pushing this product really forward because they know that the um, the to really the suite of uh, analyzing data from measurement, which is done by Google Tag Manager, for example, or the new tracking codes that just came out, up to um, uh, gathering the data in Google Analytics, but then also analyzing it and making it useful to people can be really well done with Google Data Studio. And they're investing a lot of their energy into a dashboarding software just like this one. So they're bringing out new features and they're bringing out, um, fixing the bugs hopefully. And that's what I would expect as well from this product. Now, um, just to, to show you a bit more about this pivot table, although we can't see it right now, maybe we'll just reload and see if we can refresh this. And um, we see that we can also um, sort this table obviously. So for our first row and our second row and our columns, we can sort them and we can also choose a custom date range. This is possible with every uh, of these um, visualizations, but we can also add a filter. Now, one thing that I saw in the doc, in the um, post here that, that was um, published by Google, um, in the help section, uh, there are some drawbacks to this pivot table. So you can't do anything that you would do in Excel or in Google Sheets. You can actually not, um, you can only have one pivot table per page. So obviously it's uh, uh, resource intensive. The second thing is the um, that it doesn't port over in the pages. So a uh, normal pages would have different tables and you could filter on them and then they update automatically in these different pages. This is also not possible. And you can also not use this metric filter. So if we would put in a filter here and say only include, um, I don't know, sessions that were, uh, let's try this out, sessions that are over greater than uh, 1000. Let's save this, we should get an error here, that is correct, because we can actually not use this fil these filters that are filtered by metric within our um, pivot table. So if you get rid of this, this should upload. Okay, um, I hope this gives you a little bit of an overview of how you could be using pivot tables. I just wanted to show this new functionality. Obviously, this is a very controlled context and we are not building out a dashboard here that actually is um, something that, that we would use for clients. But um, the functionality is now built into Google Data Studio and I hope you are able to use it for your um, implementations of a dashboard as well. And yeah, that's already it with this little overview. First look at Data Studio pivot tables. Now, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel <laughs> right over there because we're bringing you new videos every week. Now, my name is Julian. Till next time.